Hello there, it's Hillary, and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today, I am excited to be setting up my Christmas traveler's notebook, my faith traveler's notebook. And I love setting up seasonal traveler's notebooks and you love watching the process come together. I always get people asking, are you going to do another setup video? So this is my one from the fall and I had my devotion book, two of my fall devotion books and my fall gratitude and prayer journal. And then separately I had my gratitude junk journal. So those were where I was working this fall. And so I do have this video if you want to watch this, how this one came together. But I'm going to pull this little pocket thing from the back of my fall one and use it in my Christmas setup. So for the past two years, I think I've used this cover it is a Carpe Diem cover, and this is what I've used for my Christmas traveler's notebook setup. But this year, my friend Jenny gave me this one, and it is a Webster's Pages one, and it does have this floral inside, but I loved the buffalo plaid, and I just thought, is there anything more Christmassy than buffalo plaid? I don't think so. So I was thinking I could kind of cover this a little bit with my Christmas floral notepad. Like I can have that sticking out down below or up top and I could do a different piece of Christmas pattern paper back here. So that was kind of my thought for making the inside look a little bit more Christmassy. But I'm excited to set it up. And then the Christmas kit this year is called Twinkling Trials Trusting God This Christmas. And I have a whole kit in my Etsy shop. And I'll link the kit in the description box below. As well as an unboxing video if you want to see more. If the kit is sold out by the time I'm posting this video, you can also get just the devotion book on Amazon. And so I'm going to be using this and the kit comes with a vinyl sticker that says trust in the Lord with all your heart. And I thought that would just look so cute on the cover here. So that is my game plan. And another thing I mentioned already is the Christmas floral notepad. This I actually launched last year and I do still have a few left. And I've been watching the orders come in for the Twinkling Trials. And a lot of you are adding this to your orders, which is really awesome because it is beautiful and perfect to use for documenting your prayers, your Bible study notes, scripture writing for Christmas. And then the last thing I have pulled is my Christmas floral gratitude and prayer journal. I started this in 2021. And I do still have, so I used it in 2021, 2022, and now we're in 2023. And I do still have some pages left. And so my thought was, I think this year I could probably finish it and then next year use a new one. So I have, again, a few pages left in the prayer and gratitude journal. So I want to put all these in here. Very exciting. I also have lots of other Christmas products too. I have my Christmas journal and this I decided I didn't want to use the traveler's notebook size but there is a traveler's notebook size if you like that that would be a very cute combination of all three of those but I'm using the eight eight and a half by five and a half size this year last year and the year before I've used the a5 size but this is just slightly different dimensions but this is a really awesome, you can see it's just a little bit skinnier and taller than the A5 size. But I reference back to these ones from 2021 and 2022 for memory keeping. There's also like gift trackers and stuff like that. So this is a really, really key part of my December to keep me on track of all the things I have to get done. There's an expense tracker, thank you note tracker, spot for a mood board and everything like that. So definitely pick up a Christmas journal if you haven't. But I have lots of other Christmas devotion books and things too. I have different, uh, there's 
also some scripture writing plans as well. So if you want to learn more, I have a whole blog post roundup that I will link down below with links and unboxing and it has links to everything and unboxing videos for everything and some of my favorite Christmas videos too. So let's dive in and get started setting everything up. So I think to start I'm going to try to arrange the Christmas notepad paper in here. I'm interrupting myself because I wanted to mention I don't think Webster's Pages is around anymore. I don't know that they have traveler's notebooks anymore, but I will link a few similar options on Amazon in the description box below if you are in need of a cute traveler's notebook. I'll have a few linked, and if you see Amazon links down below, those are affiliate links, um, which means that I get a small percentage if you use the link to shop. So just a little heads up about that but I wanted to mention that because when I did my fall traveler's notebook setup a bunch of people asked about the traveler's notebook itself and so again I don't think Webster's Pages makes traveler's notebooks anymore or is around but I will link some similar options on Amazon to see if it can kind of cover the floral oh yeah that looks really good I wonder if I could even I pulled apart some of the notepad paper. If I did kind of one on the top and then one down here, kind of have it nestled like so. Ah, oh, that looks really cute. I like that a lot. Okay, so we got that. And then over here, I want to pull some Christmas pattern papers. So I found this one in my stash, a piece of cardstock. So I think I'll try trimming it down just a little bit so it will fit. Hopefully it'll fit. <laughs> okay, I need to go a little skinnier. You want to do it just little by little, though. Ah, perfect. Okay, I love how this is coming together. What do you think? <laughs> so I want to put the Twinkling Trials in the front. So I'm going to put this one here, and then... After that, I'll do the gratitude and prayer journal. Let's pull off some of the bows <laughs> for now. So I'll we'll have that one next. That looks very, very cute. And then I wanted to undo this. And... Apart. It's always kind of sad, like saying goodbye to fall <laughs> and hello to Christmas, but that's okay. A new season is here. So then I'll put this in the back, and I would have room for one more insert if I wanted. Like I could use the lessons from the manger devotion book, but I really just want to focus on one thing this Christmas. <laughs> one thing that I don't have another one right now, but that would be a really cool addition to this. This is a journal that I did last year, but it just has the date on the left side and it goes through the whole month of December. So this would be really cool to use 
for December memory keeping if you wanted to do something every single day. And so that could be a really great option to fit back here too. But again, I don't think I have another one, unfortunately, because that would have looked really cool. Guess what I found? An empty one! So this is what it looks like. So it just has the date and lots of room for journaling. So I think I actually am going to add this in here. It just says daily journal for December. And yeah, but it says the most wonderful time of the year. And I posted a reel last year about that phrase because it I've shared it before and people are like, it's not the most wonderful time of the year. It's stressful and hectic and difficult, but each day is the Lord's <laughs> and there's a verse that says, um, oh, I'm forgetting it. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That's the verse. And so even if hard things are happening on that, on, you know, whatever day or season or month you're in, and um, there are still good moments in the day. It's not all horrible. Even if it's just, you made it to the end, <laughs> you made it to your bed at the end of the day, or, you know, you saw the sunrise on your drive to work or someone smiled at you in the grocery store or let you go in front of them in the checkout line. And God is always good, even in the midst of hard times. So really, the most wonderful time of the year should be our motto every single day of every year. So anyways, <laughs> I do have an empty one and I will link this down below on Amazon if you want to pick one up. And so this will be really neat for using for December memory keeping. So last year I used it with the Creative Faith Christmas Club and I will put a link to that down below if you want to check out the Christmas Club. It is really awesome and it has printables and prompt journaling prompts for every single day for the month of December and there are videos and inspiration and activities so definitely check out the Christmas Club if you are wanting a fun activity for December so I am really loving the idea oh that's my husband's birthday the idea of having this in here this year oh that's just turning out so cute so a few other things I want to move over I liked the idea of putting this card in here I hope it will fit though now that I'm saying that will we be able to read it with a little bit of the floral peeking through. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. This is from my Christmas florals printable. Florals, borders, and corners. And I'll link that printable down below. All right, what else? I kind of like the idea of a little bow peeking out. It's cute and that kind of disguises the seam between the two pieces of notepad paper and then I might pull some of these to use to add to my little folder in the back it's nice to have some stickers to use Maybe not all of them. And I also love having washi tape poking out, especially this one with the little mugs. Oh, that looks so cute. So I'm gonna add a few of these stickers to the back here. And actually, I want to maybe put some of my printables in there. So for, I'll put these in this one. Okay. And I want to pull off a few more of these pages to have in the back, too. Because I probably won't pull these ones out of here. I'll just leave it in like that. So these are ones that I can actually pull out and use. 
and I also love having kind of bows and things sticking out as you could tell from my from my fall one so maybe for here I'll use this little bow that looks adorable okay so I also pulled these little jingle bells. I wasn't sure if that would be kind of cute hanging out on the side here. This is from a gift several years ago. So let's see if I can tuck this in and loop it around. I might end up taking this off if it annoys me, <laughs> but I thought it was kind of a cute idea. Kind of fun. Okay, so I found a couple more of my Christmas bookmarks. These are from my 2021 Christmas mug traveler's notebook pages, and I turned them into bookmarks. I just printed them on cardstock, and then this one I hole punched and put this pretty ribbon through. And I love to-do lists. Grab my Bible, make a warm drink, light a Christmas candle, curl up in a blanket, spend time with the Lord. And this one is equally as cute. This Christmas I am choosing to be thankful every day, leaning on the Lord in prayer, and filling up on Jesus. So, maybe I'll use one of them in my daily journal. That one. So that bow is kind of in the back. And then I'll use this one in the prayer journal because I have this one in my gratitude journal. This is another one of those Christmas floral cards that comes in that printable and it has this cute little felt ball. And if I kind of move this bow to the right more and this one more to the left, then we'll be able to see them. Oh, it's interesting. This one doesn't have a little pen loop. Maybe I could add one. Okay. I really love how this is turning out. Okay, now the, now the tricky part. It's putting on the vinyl sticker. This is always kind of a scary moment. <laughs> Okay. I almost like it off to the side a bit because if I put it in the middle, you won't be able to see I feel like the heart as much. So I think I might put it down here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. So I think I'm all set. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can set up your own faith traveler's notebook for the month of December and have some awesome time to spend with the Lord in his word, in prayer, in gratitude. And I just know he has something special to teach you this Christmas if you slow down enough to spend time with him and choose him, you know, choose the Lord, choose, you know, reading your Bible over kind of the chaos and craziness of this season. So I hope this video inspired you and be sure to check out the Twinkling Trials Trust in God This Christmas kit my Etsy shop as well as the Christmas Gratitude and Prayer Journal and the Daily December Journal for memory keeping and documenting. And... Yeah, comment below if you are excited for the season and I cannot wait to share more Christmas content and I'm here to wish you a very merry creative faith Christmas. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos and I'll see you next time. Bye friend! Mm -hmm.